Well, it's Black Friday and many of you may be heading out to stores today or heading online to do some shopping. And while you're at it, it's a good time to think about Toys for Tots. The annual toy drive is kicking into high gear and joining me this morning to talk about it is Alex Smith and Sarah Decker. Thank you both for uh, so much for being here this morning. I know it's a little early. Hopefully you got some coffee in you and uh, you're ready to go. But uh, today, let's, th uh, let's talk about first things first. Today is the last day to register uh, to receive toys. Where can people register? And and what do they need to do? Absolutely. So our website um, closes today. That's where you register. It's quad-cities.toysfortots.org. Uh, basically, you fill out the online application first, and, and that will close at 11.59 p.m. today. So make sure you get it done uh, for all those kids. Uh, after that, you need to uh, come in and verify in person at our office. And we're open today and tomorrow, and then next Friday and Saturday also. Okay, good information. Now, Sarah, obviously this is such an important time because there's so many kids that need toys this time of year. Now, um, what do uh, shoppers need to keep in mind? What kind of toys do you guys need and uh, what ages uh, kind of gifts, what kind of ages do you need gifts for the most? Yeah, so we need all ages, so 0 to 12. Um, and. We really like to collect, you know, those toys that really might make someone's Christmas because we don't know whether or not this is going to be the only Christmas they mm -hmm. get. So we're looking from kids, babies, you know, walker toys, rattles, all the way up to 12 years old, Bluetooth speakers, wireless earbuds. So, yeah, there's, there's a bunch of stuff we're looking for. But for shoppers to keep in mind, you know, get a variety of things. Mm -hmm. You don't have to get the same age group. We love a variety. And even the small toys make great stocking stuffers. Yeah, and you guys always need toys for this time of year. And now, Sarah, also you said a variety of toys. Now, some of that variety is uh, you guys are looking to get uh, toys for special needs or sensory issues uh, for kids that have sensory issues. Uh, what can you tell us about that? Yeah, so we have a lot of kids with sensory issues. So some might be blind, some mm -hmm. might be deaf. So you don't want to get a, give a deaf child a, sp a speaking toy. Mm -hmm. Some kids maybe can't tolerate, you know, loud sounds or maybe those bright lights. So we like to have people keep in mind maybe to get some plain, more plain toys, like maybe some books that can be learning toys or even like fidget toys. A lot of kids love those fidget cubes, poppets. Everyone loves those. So Absolutely. So any kind and all kinds of toys uh, for special needs kids and uh, sensory issues if kids have sensory issues. So keep that in mind as well if you're looking to give for Toys for Tots. Now, uh, Alec, uh, over 6,600 kids were given toys last year. How many do you expect to uh, give this year? So right now, as I checked this morning, we have over 7,000 signed okay, up wow, um, awesome. through both us and uh, the organizations that we partner with. Mm -hmm. uh, so we're hoping to meet that need this year. Um, so we're going to need all the help we can get from donations, both monetary, via cash or check, or through toys. Okay, and then um, obviously there's a lot of different Toys for Tots drives going on. We're having one here, uh, partnering with you guys. Um, next Friday, obviously you can drive up, uh, you can drop off your uh, toys or your monetary donations. You don't even have to get out of the car. People come up and get it for yep. you, right? Now, Sarah, there are many different ways people can donate, including uh, different drives like we just mentioned, um, like the one we're having here. As we, yes. again, we just mentioned here um, just a minute ago. How can people um, give, you know, get involved? So there's many different ways to get involved is all listed on our website. We even have a donation QR code that we bring with us. If you don't have cash on you, you can easily just scan that and find a way to donate from there. Um, we also love it when people come to the drives to say hi, um, or even just stopping by our warehouse to drop off a donation. We usually have people there the weekdays from about 9 to 3 p.m. in the afternoon. So dropping by the warehouse, going to the do events, the donation drives. We have the QC Craft Show this morning and Tyson's uh, from 6 a.m. to 4 p.m. today. So that's where I'll be after this. Okay, okay. And again, uh, uh, what's that drive again that you said that's going to be happening uh, that you're headed to after this? Tyson's right off of ba Brady Street. Okay. Um, we'll be collecting toys. It's kind of like a stuff the truck event. Okay. Um, but we'll be collecting toys from 6 a.m. to 4 p.m. there. Okay, 6 a.m. to 4 p.m. there. And again, uh, there's never enough uh, toys to go around. You guys always need toys. And again, uh, there's one happening today. One next week, next Friday, is happening here at TV6. So all you have to do is drive up to our uh, station here at 805 Brady Street here in Davenport. Uh, bring a a toy or a monetary donation. You guys mentioned that you're uh, accepting checks or cash. Uh, you don't even have to get out of your car. They'll just walk up to your car and say thank you and take your uh, donation. And again, yeah, there's another one happening next week, but you guys are having them um, all over the area. So again, uh, thank you everything. Thank you so much for everything that you guys do uh, for the kids in the community because uh, again, there's so many kids that's, are, that's in need this time of year. So again, thank you so much for coming in this morning. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. All right.